This is the Verismo 585 system by Starbucks. The Verismo system by Starbucks makes it possible to brew Starbucks lattes, Starbucks espresso, and Starbucks brewed coffee, all from the comfort of your own home and at the simple press of a button. I'm gonna show you how to use the Verismo 585 system today, pointing out some of its features and making a couple beverages. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is fill up the water tank. The Verismo 585 comes with a three and a half liter water tank, which is really, really big. There's a max fill line here, which is a dark black line. And I've got a pitcher of water here. We'll go ahead and fill this up. And this pitcher is not even gonna fill this whole thing up, which kind of shows you how big this thing is. But that'll be enough to get us started for what we're doing here today. And there's also a charcoal water filter inside the water tank. And place this back on the machine, just slide it down, kind of flush with the machine, and place the water cover on top. And then I'm gonna turn it on. I'll turn it on by pressing the button on the bottom left. First thing that happens when I turn the machine on is there is a small green icon that lights up that tells me to rinse the machine. So I'll get a cup here and I'll press rinse, which is the bottom right button. Rinsing the machine is going to get any coffee or milk particles that might be left out over. And it'll also just heat up the temperature of the machine and make sure it's ready to brew a really hot espresso or cup of coffee for you. So that was quick and easy. In case there's any drips coming from the spout, a quick tip is to just raise and lower the handle, and that'll make sure that no drips come out from the drip spout. We'll do that later too. A nice other feature here is you can actually raise and lower the nozzle. So if you have a really small demi tasse cup when you're brewing an espresso, for example, you might put that in the lowest position or you can leave it up. And if you have a really tall cup, let's say you wanna make a grande or a venti sized coffee using a couple different pods, you can go ahead and remove this tray and place the silver tray right on top there, and that'll accommodate that larger size cup for you. Okay. We're gonna put this back here. So get a fresh glass. First thing I'm gonna do is show you how to make a Starbucks latte. I'm gonna take a milk pod first. And the milk pod is filled with dehydrated 100% dairy. And when I brew this through the machine, it'll create a 2% milk beverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my handle, drop the pod in, and with one swift motion, close the handle. And we'll go ahead then and press the milk button, which is the top right button. As I showed you earlier, if you get any splashing, you can also adjust the head like this. That'll minimize any splashing that might happen. Great. So I've got my milk brewed. I'll open up the handle. The pod drops through to a pod catcher in the back and I'll show you how to clean that out in just a few minutes. And next I'll take an espresso pod and drop that into the machine. And again, swiftly close the handle. And this time I'll press the espresso button on the top left. Excellent. So we'll minimize the dripping, open the handle, pod drops through, and just that quickly I've got a Starbucks latte to enjoy at home. Next I wanna show you how to make a brewed coffee. So I'll set this aside grab my cup, place it underneath the spout. And this time I'm gonna take a brewed coffee pod. Now the brewed coffee pod has a special feature that you wanna pay attention to, and that's the foil cap on top. Taking off the foil, just like this, removes the pressure that might build up in the machine. So what you do with the espresso is it creates a back pressure, creates that nice crema, but releasing the pressure here gives you a brewed coffee experience. So again, just as easily, drop it in, close the handle, but this time I'm gonna press the long coffee button, which is the middle, button in the top row. All right, and just like that, my Starbucks brewed coffee is ready for me to enjoy, although it's pretty hot. So I'm gonna leave this aside for just a second and show you how to clean the machine. So to drip, stop the drips, I'll just release the pod, let it drop through to the pod catcher, which is located here. So I pull out the drip tray, and here in the back is a very large used pod container, which is gonna hold a lot of different pods, so you can make a lot of different beverages before you have to clean the machine. And also wanted to point out that under here, this also is a drip tray. So if you do have some water that's left over in the tray after you've brewed the milk pods or the espresso pods, you wanna make sure that you clean that right away as well before it overflows and makes a mess on your counter. So we'll slide this back in. And now I'm ready for my favorite part, 
Just enjoying a really hot Starbucks quality brewed coffee at home. It's good.